Hello and welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi, 65 for Finance and Operation Consultant. In this video, I'm going to show you a sale order process and how its value reflect in a collection page. Collection is a single window that is used for a credit and credit and collection managers. And a collection agent usually use that window to filter a different customer that's payments are due with a different criteria so let's begin So this is the D65 for finance and operation and at the record at the time of recording I am using 10.0.029 version of D65 for finance and operation. So first of all I'm going to create a customer. So for customer I am going on account receivable and i can also go in sales and marketing so here i'm going to create a new customer my customer is cust002 and its organization type i'm again cust002 customer group I select major customer terms of payment that 30 country US and delivery terms mode of delivery I'm going to select a truck or address I'm selecting some fictional and save it sale order default i mentioned the charge group and default site will be one and default warehouse from comes from a 11 then you, then i can select invoice account i'm using the same invoice account and I can also set the uh, financial dimension. This financial di dimension automatically copied into a sale order from a customer. So I'm going to select home and cost center. I show into and department sales and marketing and item group is audio. So I'm going to create a new sale order and click on a new and I select the customer 2 and click OK and I and you can see if I go on a header the financial dimensions are copied from a customer I I selected all these values when I create the customer now I'm going to create a line then confirm the purchase order. I select this item and I'm going to sell three quantity and save it and after click after that I will click on a sell and confirm the sale order. It asked me to check the credit limit. I don't want to check the credit limit. I just want to create a purchase order. So I click on OK. And so sale order is created successfully. Now I'm going to create a packing slip and I select a all quantity so 
so pick, picking list is generated and that is hand over to a specific person and it is handled packed updated and now i am going to post the packing slip i select all or even i can select the picked click on ok so pick and pack is done and now i'm creating a invoice click on the all items that on a picking on a packing slip there will be a invoice against them can be created here so click on ok so invoice is posted so for this i am going to credit and collection module and if i go all balances all collections will be shown here So if I select my customer CUST apply 0002 it is is not appearing here this is the screen but before that we have to generate age balance snapshot for this we have to go credit and collections and periodic task and age collection age customer balances here a different aging period definitions are available but we select this and i click on ok aging snapshot has been created for selected customers after generating the customer aging snapshot i am going back to collection page credit and collections collections and age balance and you can see you can see cursed 0002 with customer 2 and it's say our sale about 5700 5, is available for a collection. So this is the quick video where I shared you how you can create a sale order and then how sale order invoice can become into the collection screen. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.